It's been a long battle for Ben Oakley and it's not getting any easier. I still struggle. The last few days have not been easy. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm still on an illegal source, yet we have been trying to get on a legal source. Ben and his dad Michael are becoming increasingly frustrated with the lack of accessibility to the drug, lengthy application processes and exorbitant costs getting in the way. I find that $1,695 was needing to be paid every three weeks in advance before they would supply my son with the only medication that has saved his life. Labor says fewer than 50 people are using the drug legally in New South Wales. It says red tape is to blame and want to see the legislation changed. I want to make sure that when we go to the doctor once, we can get access to this drug for those people who need it most. The state government says to January, 69 of 93 medicinal cannabis applications had been approved, with even more people using the drug under trials. Chief Health Officer Dr Kerry Chant hopes that one day the drug will be registered and priced reasonably. There is so much more we need to learn, but meanwhile we need to make sure that patients that could benefit from it um, have got access to it. Ben Oakley, however, like many others, is desperate for a solution. I'm sick of struggling. There are so many people out there that are... that are scared. Jordan Matthews, Wing News.